Hello and welcome to week 12 of film history. We are covering <clears throat> what I'm calling dystopian films. And I've labeled this week uh, this title because many of the very best, most influential and zeitgeist type films of the late 90s had a dystopian feel. As the, as the uh, century and the millennium drew to a close uh, through the late 90s, we saw the introduction of all this incredible technology. DVDs, small deal. Internet, huge deal. We start to see CGI used more. We start to see uh, digital cameras begin to get be used. And all of a sudden we're seeing this major transformation in Hollywood and in filmmaking, but also in society. People are beginning to use the internet. It's be being built out, websites and so forth. Etiquette is being explored. Uh, most people are intrigued, uh, excited, but also a little nervous, uh, have some anxiety about what it's going to mean, how it's going to change employment. And of course it did. It, it eliminated some jobs. It created others, as all technology does. So the films we're exploring this week, we start with American Beauty, which is a brilliant Academy Award winning best picture film that uh, kind of continues our theme of exploring the American family and uh, coming of age story. So that's a, one of the aspects of that film. Uh, another comment on where the American family was in the 90s. And the film really provides a critical analysis, very critical of suburban life and uh, office culture and uh, the American dream of the consumerism that we had seen throughout the uh, 80s and into the 90s. Because remember the 90s were a very good economic time but a lot of people felt um, bereft of soul. They didn't feel like they were, they were doing what they wanted to do, but they were making money. Uh, next, we have Truman Show, brilliant film that a lot of students uh, have expressed they like. Certainly speaks a lot to our age. That film really holds up well as a commentary as to what's going on, where we have a character in a reality TV show that doesn't even know it, living out their whole life. Then we have Fight Club, very important film, zeitgeist film that sort of captured what was going on, uh, has relevance to, to today, has of course all kinds of con internet conspiracy and to some extent has been co-opted by certain elements within the society as well as Matrix, the, both of them. But provides a really intelligent commentary on a generation of disaffected slacker men that we started talking about in the early 90s and uh, not having purpose and, and direction. And last we end with Matrix, which was, uh, Came at the end of the millennium, as most of these films did in 1999. Huge, important year for film in 99. We also see Being John Mal Malkovich and Office Space and lots of other really groundbreaking films that sort of captured the moment in the zeitgeist and talk about that in the reading. So Matrix, of course, advances CGI, fight, uh, fighting, brings in the uh, Hong Kong martial arts style um, towards the end of the 90s that had been immigrating. Uh, incorporates a lot of unique camera techniques, sort of advances the medium of big budget films and how to incorporate CGI. So great week of films that uh, really capture, and let's not forget at the end of the millennium, we have the, the Y2K bug where everyone's afraid that the computers are gonna have a problem with the dates because we only gave two dates and we needed four digits and so on and so forth, it's all in the reading. And so all of this sort of apprehension is, is building up. And that's why you get all these films that are like mon monumental. It's 1999, so filmmakers want to say something. Okay, hope that uh, that was helpful and a good setup. And uh, we'll see you next week when we cover post 9-11. All right.